If you're studying for the DAT, just took the DAT, or you're just wondering what a good DAT score is, this video is for you because in this video, we're going to cover what DAT scores correlate in terms of percentiles. So you really know how well you're doing and where you stand since you don't get percentile scores when taking the DAT, since you just get the normal, regular numerical score. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Andrew. I'm a dentist and have served on the advisory board for the dental school application AdSAS. And I'm passionate about helping pre-dentals like yourself get accepted to dental school through one-on-one -on -one mentoring. And before we go into the exact percentiles related to each score, if you are studying for the DAT or plan on studying for it soon, I made a free DAT guide that you can follow to help you score well beyond the competition and make it so you don't have to retake the DAT over and over again. It includes tips for how to get a perfect score in the different sections and study tips that are gonna help make your studying more effective and more efficient. You can download that for free at predenting.com forward slash DAT guide. And now let's get into the percentiles. Just so you know, these percentiles do change every few years because the number of people taking the DAT and how well they score is changing and it's typically on an uptrend. So the higher scores are correlating to lower percentiles as the years go on. For this video, I'm gonna use the latest percentiles released from the American Dental Association, the ADA, which administers the dental admissions test. So for the biology section of the DAT, an 18 numerical score correlates to about a 45th percentile. A 20 score correlates to a 70th percentile and a 22 correlates to an 85th percentile and a 24 correlates to the 93rd percentile. And finally, a 30 would be the 100th percentile. For the general chemistry section, an 18 correlates to the 45th percentile, a 20 correlates to a 67th percentile, a 22 in general chemistry correlates to about an 85th percentile, and a 24 correlates to about a 90th percentile. For the OCHEM section, things are actually really similar to the general chemistry section in the sense that for the OCHEM section, an 18 also correlates to the 45th percentile, a 20 correlates to about the 65th percentile, a 22 correlates to about the 80th percentile, and a 24 correlates to about the 90th percentile. Before we go on to the PAT section and percentiles there, if you find this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more helpful pre-dental content. So to get back into it, for the PAT section, an 18 correlates to a 40th percentile, a 20 correlates to about a 70th percentile, a 22 correlates to about an 87th percentile, and a 24 correlates to about a 94th percentile, while the 30 score is going to correlate to your 100th percentile. And that leads us to the reading comprehension section, where an 18 equals around the 20th percentile, a 20 equals around the 50th percentile, a 22 is going to correlate to a 75th percentile, and a 24 is gonna to correlate to a 90th percentile, while a 30, again, is the 100th percentile. And finally, we have the quantitative reasoning or math section of the DAT, where an 18 is about a 50th percentile, a score of a 20 is about a 75th percentile, a 22 is around an 85th percentile, and a 24 is about the 93rd percentile, and again, a 30 equates to a 100th percentile. So knowing those percentiles can help you not only set your score, but also help gauge where you are in terms of what dental schools are looking for and where you are in terms of where everyone else is scoring since that's where percentiles come from. And one of the greatest things that you can do to increase your DAT score is to download the free DAT guide that I made that goes through different tips and tricks to help you score much higher on the different sections of the DAT. And if you're thinking about how to improve your PAT score a lot, you're gonna wanna watch this next video where I go through a PAT strategy to score a 30.